Step into a world where reality takes a backseat and imagination steers the wheel the outer limits, a classic TV series from 1963. This sci-fi anthology captivates with its tales that are funny, shocking, and sometimes downright sad. Curious if there are any lesser known facts or anecdotes about this show that fascinate you. One standout element is the presence of classic Hollywood actors, adding a touch of star power to the mysterious narratives. Who was your favorite among these icons? The Outer Limits brings you on a journey where you might discover surprising connections and performances from these legends. As you delve into the episodes, be prepared for a roller coaster of emotions. The Outer Limits crafts a unique viewing experience that leaves an indelible mark. What's your most cherished memory or personal experience related to this series? We would love to hear your stories and memories in the comments below. So, buckle up for an exploration into the unknown, filled with twists and turns that will keep you hooked till the end. Are you ready for the ride? Share your thoughts and join the conversation about this timeless series. What classic Hollywood actor in this TV series was your favorite? Are there any lesser known facts or anecdotes about this TV series that fascinate you? What's your most cherished memory or personal experience related to this TV series? We would love to hear your stories and memories in the comments below. Step into the captivating realm of The Outer Limits, a groundbreaking TV series from 1963 that defied the conventions of its time. Picture this, you find yourself in an era where reality takes a backseat and imagination becomes the driving force. This sci-fi anthology, with tales ranging from funny to shocking and sometimes downright sad, introduces you to a multifaceted world of mystery and intrigue. What sets this show apart is not just its compelling narratives, but also the star power it brings to the screen. Renowned Hollywood actors of the time lend their talents, adding a touch of glamour to the mysterious tales. As you navigate through the episodes, you may discover surprising connections and performances from these icons, making the experience not just about the stories, but also the faces that bring them to life. In this bustling landscape of sci-fi storytelling, The Outer Limits crafts a unique viewing experience that leaves an enduring impression. It's a journey into the unknown, a roller coaster of emotions that resonates with viewers even today. Have you ever wondered which classic Hollywood actor in this series was someone's favorite? The show prompts us to delve into personal memories and experiences related to its episodes, creating a vibrant tapestry of shared nostalgia. So, buckle up for this exploration into the unknown, filled with twists and turns that will keep you hooked till the end. Share your thoughts and stories about this timeless series as we embark on a journey through where reality meets the extraordinary and imagination knows no bounds. In one standout episode of The Outer Limits, titled The Duplicate Man, the iconic Chemosphere House takes center stage Designed by architect John Lautner, this distinctive residence makes a few exterior appearances, while the interior shots cleverly emulate its unique design on a specially crafted set. The first season concludes with the forms of things unknown, originally intended as a pilot by series creator Joseph Stefano. When rejected, Stefano repurposed it as an episode, showcasing the show's resilience in adapting rejected material into compelling content. The series faced an unexpected challenge in its second season. Despite being a hit, particularly among younger viewers, ABC made a questionable move, shifting its time slot from Monday nights to 7.30 p.m. on Saturdays. This move not only proved unfavorable for its target audience, but also placed it as the lead-in for The Lawrence Welk Show, competing with the highly popular Jackie Gleason American Scene magazine on CBS. The outcome was a premature cancellation midway through the second season, driven by plummeting ratings. The Outer Limits' unfortunate demise at the hands of network scheduling decisions remains a stark example of how a deliberate shift in timing can impact a successful series, cutting short its potential and leaving viewers wanting more. In 1963, The Outer Limits boasted a unique roster of actors, including Leonard Nimoy, David McCallum, Cliff Robertson, Barbara Rush, and Peter Breck, who graced both this series and its counterpart. This crossover added an extra layer of familiarity for viewers, connecting the narratives through familiar faces. Notably, Gene Roddenberry, a devoted admirer of the show, frequented the set. His affinity extended beyond mere admiration, as he incorporated elements like crew members, cast, costumes, and props into the iconic Star Trek. 
This symbiotic relationship between two influential sci-fi series illustrates the interconnectedness of creative minds in the television industry. Vic Perrin, the voice behind the enigmatic opening and closing narrations, shared a fascinating tidbit. Despite recording almost all his lines in just one or two sessions, he confessed to having no insight into the episode's content. Perrin humorously claimed a God-given ability to sound authoritative on unfamiliar topics. This revelation adds a layer of mystery to the production process, showcasing the professionalism and adaptability of the contributors. In a twist of fate, Joseph Stefano's rejected pilot, The Forms of Things Unknown, found a second life as a concluding episode for the show's first season. This adaptation exemplifies the series' resilience in turning setbacks into compelling content, highlighting the creative ingenuity that fueled its success. The show faced an unexpected challenge during its second season, with a questionable decision to shift its time slot. This move, from Monday nights to 7.30 p.m. on Saturdays, proved detrimental to the target audience, especially competing against popular programs like The Lawrence Welk Show and Jackie Gleason American Scene Magazine. The unfortunate outcome was a premature cancellation, a stark reminder of how network scheduling decisions can curtail the potential of even a successful series. The Outer Limits of 1963 remains an intriguing chapter in television history, interwoven with the tales of Hollywood icons, Roddenberry's crossover influence, Perrin's behind-the-scenes anecdotes, and the show's resilience against challenges. It's a testament to the dynamic interplay of creativity and industry dynamics that shaped the sci-fi landscape of its time. What else about this iconic series fascinates you? Share your thoughts and stories below. Conrad L. Hall, the director of photography for The Outer Limits in 1963, left an enduring mark on the series. His work on the first season earned him 10 Academy Award nominations, ultimately securing three Oscars for Best Cinematography. This accolade stands as a testament to the caliber of talent associated with the show, showcasing the early contributions of individuals who would later attain significant recognition in the film industry. Interestingly, several episodes from the original series were remade, highlighting the enduring appeal of the narratives. I, Robot, A Feasibility Study, and Nightmare were among those revisited. Additionally, The Inheritors Part I and The Inheritors Part II were reimagined, emphasizing the timeless quality of the stories that transcended their initial broadcast. Notably, the remade episodes retained their essence while adapting to the evolving television landscape. A notable incident occurred with the scheduling of Nightmare, originally slated for November 25, 1963. However, due to the state funeral coverage of President John F. Kennedy, its airing was delayed by a week. This unforeseen circumstance underscored the impact of real-world events on television programming during that era. Despite its commendable first season, the show faced an abrupt shift in its second season schedule. The decision to move it from Mondays to Saturdays at 7.30 p.m. proved detrimental, leading to a decline in ratings. Competing against popular programs like The Lawrence Welk Show and Jackie Gleason American Scene Magazine hastened, its premature cancellation emphasizing the critical role of timing in a show's success. In the midst of these challenges, the series showcased resilience. Gene Roddenberry's presence on the set, along with the incorporation of elements into Star Trek, exemplifies the interconnectedness of creative minds in the television industry. Vic Perrin, the voice behind the iconic narrations, added a touch of humor by confessing his limited insight into episode content, showcasing the adaptability and professionalism of contributors. The 1963 sci-fi series stands as a captivating chapter in television history, woven with the tales of Hollywood icons, Roddenberry's influence, scheduling woes, and creative resilience. It not only left a lasting impact on the genre, but also paved the way for the future success of those involved. The convergence of talent and unforeseen circumstances shaped its legacy, making it a noteworthy piece in the mosaic of television history.